I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love you, Matty Dean, and I need you, Matty Dean. Why did you leave me here without your love? Oh, bro, I'm hurting. Thanks for coming, dude. Um, Thanks for having me. This is usually the part where, like, you're like, fuck, what do we say now, dude? Yeah. You know? How do you but, open anything? Yeah, we don't even have an intro. We just right. naturally go with it. But, no, dude, thank you for coming, man. I saw, like, all of your stand-up clips, and I was like, this is a bro. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Like, it just feels like you're one of the boys. Oh, man. You know? so, that is one of the greatest compliments I've ever really? received. Wow. Yeah. I feel like most yeah. chicks would be like offended, you know. What no, I mean? that is the greatest compliment. Yeah. You like you want to be one of the boys? Yeah, I would love yeah. to. Where do you think that like comes from? <laughs> uh, probably doing stand up and being surrounded by mostly men. Mostly dudes. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm naturally masculine. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, for sure. Someone the other day, one of my friends was like, "I think I'm more feminine than you," and I was like, "You think?" Like <laughs> it was just like, yeah. Yeah. You know? Did you grow up, like, uh, playing sports and stuff? Yeah. Really? Yeah. But not... Uh, <clears throat> but I also was, like, a big pussy. Mm -hmm. Like, I would cry after games because yeah. I was like, I didn't do well, oh, you really? know? So yeah. you were, like, a feminist, like, women's field <laughs> hockey player? <laughs> so, like, go to, go to like, a riot after the yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pick it. Be like, mm, this is not right. <laughs> yeah. We should have prime time game times. Yeah. yeah. No, it was more like I was just mad at myself for not doing well. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. I wish I was like that. I was like, I just want to go home right now. Play, <laughs> like while playing? Play Because, like, during the game, I was just, like, so aggressive. <laughs> just take... Just Wait, what, what sport? Like, football. And, yeah. like, I played rugby in college. And I oh, just, nice. like, would, like, take out my trauma on the game. Yeah. Just be, like, a different person. Yeah. And then after the game, I was just like, I just want to go home, dude. Yeah. Just play Because it's, like, awkward? Because you would just, like, lose your mind and then be like, yeah. right. Remember when I, like rally cried <laughs> like i gotta go dude i like every game i'll just be like who am i like yeah. you ever feel that way you're like e i have like six personalities every time i get off stage i'm yeah. like how embarrassing i like went to therapy for that i was like dude i don't even know <laughs> oh who yeah i am bro you oh know? all the time yeah i remember dude i cried in a mcdonald's parking lot <laughs> <laughs> wait when because like recently no this was in high school okay we were in like the state championship game okay and like during the game i was like dude i don't even know how much i care about this and then afterwards like coaches like we lost yeah like coaches were like hugging me like <laughs> grown men were hugging me and they were like i just want you to know dude like i love you and i dude i fucking lost cried it. on the bus and then after the game i just fucking dude i listened to like landslide <laughs> and I love every dude. time i'm depressed i listen yeah. to that song it's the go-to song that dude. is legitimately yeah in a parking lot dude yeah you're in just drinking a fucking just a double espresso. <laughs> yeah, coffee, I was dude. trying to say like a monster or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and I just like broke. Was down. it a big game? It was like the championship. Okay, that like, makes sense. Yeah, so you're just like, fuck. like initially I was like, I don't even know how much I care, and then afterwards I was like, oh shit, like this is yeah, this is my life, dude. Yeah, like, yeah. Was it like senior <clears throat> year? Yeah, that was oh, it too. So that's part of it too. Yeah, you're just like this is it, man. Like, yeah. After this, you're gonna be working at like fucking enterprise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> being like I used to have dreams. <laughs> yeah, dude, I didn't even think I was gonna get into college at that point. I was like, yeah. dude, you're gonna work at fucking in the fucking dairy aisle oh, for the yeah. rest of your life. I you know? really didn't think I was gonna get into college either. Yeah. At all. I was, dude. I was stoned when I got accepted. <laughs> okay. I, I was at a Five Guys <laughs> with my friend. <laughs> dude, what so school did you go to? Uh, oh, I got it accepted to URI. Oh, you got it like an email. Yeah. Well, oh, so see, like I'm older. So like I was like, how did you get accepted at a five? Like we got letters. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think we got a letter too. Right. I think back then. I definitely even, didn't get an email unless yeah. it was my mom. Like I'm kind of like, s I feel slow. So I bet my mom's like, we'll put my email <laughs> on there. Yeah. Was like there's no guys. way she has sent it to my email. Yeah. So that, that's what it was. My mom texted me and she was like, yeah, I just got your acceptance letter to like URI. Let me know what you want to do <laughs> and my eyes are like barely open i'm eating like a double cheeseburger <laughs> dude. um i want a milkshake yeah, that was the moment i knew like life was a joke I'm yeah like, these people are oh. making a huge mistake right oh now, yeah for sure for sure all the time i feel that way yeah 
all the time. They're like, you, you want it? And I'm like, I get it. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't even know, dude. Right. What do you think like your like personalities are where you're like, oh, fuck, dude. <clears throat> um, I, I would say uh, there's like a there's a very angry one mm -hmm. that like teeters on like a cunt, you know, mm -hmm. like sometimes I get on stage or I, like I'll watch a tape and I was like, whoa, you are not feeling <laughs> that person <laughs> that day. Like I'm like, why was that person so angry? And then I look at the tape and I'm like, oh, well, you are a little aggressive. Um, uh, like I was on stage the other day and I. I well, I was looking at a tape from on stage and I literally looked at a girl and was like, you're so fucking stupid. Because <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she clapped for a guy that works for NASA. Mm -hmm. She was like, <laughs> and I was like, why are you clapping? Yeah. And she's like, I don't know. And I was like, yeah. you're so stupid. Damn, that's rare for like a girl to come at a girl like that. I know, I know. Which, dude, damn, know. you could put that on like Pornhub, dude, for yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, Yo, you think I can make some money? Yeah, Fuck for sure. Yeah. I've been thinking about putting like my Xbox clips on Pornhub, dude. And just see how it goes. Yeah. I've been thinking about We should put a picks. podcast clip on Pornhub, yeah. dude. I would be down. <laughs> yeah, dude. <do you, laughs> see how much money we can make. Yeah. Dude? I'll just have my foot out the whole time just to I see. Mean, dude, people might watch it. I, you know, 100% support. Yeah. Split it 60 40. I don't mean, yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> I'll think about it, dude. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so, like, uh, well, I mean, like every. I feel like every chick's kind of like a bitch, dude. Yeah. I'm not trying to be a dick, but no, like, no. oh, dude. Because <clears> like anytime a chick's too nice, I'm yeah. like, something's going on here. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. But like, dude, guys kind of like that, like like bitches. I was just, I, I've been trying to talk about this. I got nothing. But like, mm. it's like, I feel like every girl has a bitch in her. And you know you found the guy when he's willing to put up with that bitch. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like every guy's retarded. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like full bore. Yeah. Insane. And you're like, what? Yeah. You, you like you pretend you don't like it, but yeah. at the end of the day, you're like, I, I do enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. You just like can't let them know. Because you, know you can kind of like, because girls do like to run circles around their mm -hmm. guy, even though yeah. sometimes it's infuriating. Yeah. But, um, and yeah, I think every guy likes a bitch. But if you don't like that girl, you're like. <clears throat> yeah, it's only when it comes down to like belongings and stuff. Yes. It's like if you break my Xbox, <laughs> like that's not cool. Yes. But if you like scream at me. You okay. know, in a movie theater parking lot, yeah. and tell me I'm a failure. Hot, dude. I'm gonna be like fully erect. hard for yeah, days. Dude, like, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take so many mental photos of that yes. night, dude. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just when like the physical belongings. Yes, they're like, oh, like you fucking care yeah. a lot about I've this. I've never broken anyone's physical belongings. Mm. Or like trespassing. That's a big one. You're like, this is illegal you know Have you had a girl yeah i don't want to talk about it dude. okay got it got <laughs> it dude i just met a, a comic the other day that has a a stalker and i was like okay like mm -hmm. yeah i've got some weird dudes that dm me all the time and he was like yeah. no like calls me from the hospital every day what? and i was like damn totally yeah yeah dude there are like some really unhinged women and unhinged guys like guys are like yeah fucking creepy man yeah you know yeah. that's why i like don't go out you know because <laughs> yeah. i'm just like i'll look around and i'll see dudes like with drool on their face and i'm like dude i gotta go fucking yeah home yeah you know what i mean well especially in new york because it's so oh yeah dude. packed so there's just a higher ratio yeah of people and it pushes people to their breaking point and then they just become neanderthals and they're like yeah but even if yeah. you go down south it's even like worse they're oh like, really they're like this is my lady <laughs> fucking no one they write songs about it they're like, don't come around here no more. And you're like, <laughs> like, dude, this you might be like, lady. yeah, you might be a little controlling, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let her talk to other people. Bro. Yeah, no, you no, know? they can't. But yeah, dude, I've like never, I'm the exact opposite, dude. I'm probably fucking gay, dude. I'm probably like, <laughs> wait, why do you say I'm at least 10% gay. <laughs> why do you say that? Dude, there have been even yet, yeah, dude, last night. <laughs> when I kissed a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I fucked a dude. <laughs> <laughs> I knew. 10%. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Dude, even last night, like, I'm at the gym, and I'm, like, on the Stairmaster, and there's, like, well, a window. Well, gay as hell. Yeah, that's already yeah. gay enough, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's gay as hell. Yeah, dude. And I, I'm, like, looking out the window, and you can see in the reflection, like, people <laughs> behind you. And I'm, like, looking at the person behind me. I'm, like, dude, that chick is so hot. Yeah. Dude, it was a full-grown man. <laughs> no, like, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. I swear on my life, dude. Wait, what, what made you think he was a chick? I just like looked in my peripheral and I was like, damn, dude, she's yeah. for sure checking me out, dude. Because she was right behind me and I was doing the Stairmaster. Yeah, so I was like, you. she's definitely checking me out, like my ass cheeks and shit. 
I wasn't like fully looking, but I yeah. was like, dude, I can, I can feel the energy. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah. feeling. Yes. You're like, yes. Oh. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I thought it was like a one time thing, but like, dude, it's happened. It happens all the time on the subway. You know, <laughs> do you ever feel that? Like someone's looking oh, yeah. at you and you're like, dude, hell yeah, you could fall in love right now. Bro. Right. And then it's like some dude with a mustache. And you're <laughs> yeah, like, no, yeah, for sure. You're like, stop wearing fucking tight jeans, dude. <laughs> you know? I, I, it's like all the time, like the the person that comes like up to you on the subway and was like, you're the gift of God. You're so beautiful. Has one tooth <laughs> and is like just heroined out. Yeah. It's not the guy that you want to come up to you. Does that happen to you a lot? Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? What yeah. train are you, ta- are you taking? <laughs> Take all the trains. <laughs> There's no train I avoid. <laughs> I, like, yeah, I just I haven't seen too much crazy things on the train, but I really want to. Like I really want to. You, you know do I mean? when you first move yeah. here, and then you mm-hmm. you quickly are like, please stop. Yeah. No, I remember when I first like, I you know I'm from Long Island, but like when I really started taking the trains and I moved to Brooklyn, like I was like, oh a rat, <laughs> yeah. like I was like cool, yeah. you know, like sweet. I saw a rat, and now I'm like, get the fuck. Like yeah. it's just like you're enraged all yeah. the time, dude. I'm so tired of just like looking out the subway window, <laughs> just listening to like emotional music and thinking about falling in love. When, like, everyone in that cart has, like, pounds of body hair on them. <laughs> just smells like shit. And I'm like... It's brutal. I always have that, like, thought of, like, sitting across from a girl. She's oh, yeah. Like, like a meet like, cute moment. Yeah. She's like, what are you, like, what are you writing down right now? I'm like, like fart jokes. <laughs> poetry about <laughs> yeah, <it's>, you. <laughs> she's like, I love that polo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, dude. Keep envisioning it. You'll, yeah. And you'll then I go outside and I see some dude, like, fishing on the road. And I'm like... <laughs> It's like so depressing. Also, dude. music puts you in another world. Dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll get, I'll be in a different world in music, and I'm yeah. like, everything's romantic. And then you take your headphones off, and it's like, fuck you, yeah, <laughs> bitch. And it's like, get your dick out of here. Like, you know, yeah. it's like, and yeah. then some homeless is like, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. And you're just like, oh my God. Like, noise canceling headphones, probably not very safe, but has. Really yeah, dude, you the got game. the you got the over the year ones. Dude. Yeah, dude, you're rocking I know. the fucking. Yeah, I look like I'm on, <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not fucking around, man, and I look ridiculous. Yeah, you look like you just you're in a fucking commercial. Yeah, dude. no, dude, yeah. I know. It's like I thought I looked cute, and then I saw that, and I was like, do you look like you're? Uh, no, my buddy an does that, dude. He rocks the beats, black, yeah. all black over the year, uh-huh. dude. He looks like he just fucking. He works on a fucking loading dock, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's sick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but dude, I've been telling people that for a while. I'm like, dude. Music like changes oh. your decision making, man. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, dude, if fucking if you're like ten beers deep, dude, and like yeah. crazy train is playing, yeah. full volume. Yeah. Dude, you'll do almost anything. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not gonna do that to like the fucking Titanic theme but song. But I feel like for me especially it ha- <laughs> you never know. You never <laughs> fucking know. You never know. Come on now. Especially now at the submarine, you gotta be like, maybe yeah. I thought about that after I said it. I yeah. was like, dude, I would do anything to that song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Specifically, you're talking about the Celine Dion. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Okay, great. Um, it has to be like over the year. Really? For me, yeah. That's when it really like touches my soul. Damn, dude. Yeah, if it's I just like playing out and I'm drunk, yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Hell yeah, dude. But like, it, I used it, to rock those in high school. The, over the years. Over the year. So you still like had a wire. S- yeah, dude. Yeah. You could hear what I was playing too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of motivational oh, s- yeah? stuff, so like that's what type of it's it's uh, pretty embarrassing when mm. I'm like trying to parallel park, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like, get up, get up right now, you oh, got like, this, you is know, it like Goggins and like yeah, okay. Eric Thomas, okay, yeah, that's my big one. Goggins is a lot for me. Yeah, yeah. Goggins sure, yeah. is like you fucking pussy. Mm. I got no knees, and you're like, oh, yeah, all yeah. right, I don't know. Yeah, I listened to him for a little bit, and then I was like, dude, I can't feel anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I'm bleeding out of my eyes. Like yeah, I gotta yeah. chill out a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. For yeah. sure. But that'll get you up off the couch. Yeah. You know? At least. Yeah. You listen to that when you drive. <laughs> Just peeling out, dude. <laughs> Yo, Tokyo drifting yeah, into <laughs> everywhere I go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's sick, dude. I feel like uh, when I saw your clips, I was like, this chick definitely like played sports. Yeah. Yeah, you for know? sure. I know. Thank God I got that gene. My sister didn't. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm crazy that you like want to be one of the boys, though. I know? do so bad. Yeah. Which so you, makes me not a boy. Do yeah. you get what I'm saying? Like you're like and you like you're in a relationship that you talk about openly. Yeah. 
which is so confusing because like you've been, you've, been, you've been in it for so long so maybe long. no that's not confusing except that maybe that's why is your like so are you ma- like you have a husband yeah yeah is he like a bro no okay so you think but like more a big a bro? sports guy okay when you say bro i think of like yeah like you know you show up to the like, fantasy league y- oh you no know? that's yeah he's that yeah, yeah. for sure for sure when I, when I say bro i just mean like I could say something about like farts or something and, and you, you wouldn't be like, you know? Right. Yeah. So like, no, you yeah, can I hang, guess. you can hang with the boys oh, without yeah. being like, you know? Yeah, for sure. Which is a tough hang. I love the hang. Yeah, yeah. That's sometimes the best part. Really? Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I always have to go on stage or else mm-hmm. I want to die. But like, just sometimes the hang, it's like usually the only thing that makes me feel a little Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it makes you feel like something. Something. Yeah, I feel the same way. It's the only time I ever me. feel, dude. Uh, it's for real. Yeah, I mean, dude, I've been spanking for so long, and like even that, I'm like, dude, I, I don't, you know, nothing. it's over, man. Yeah, I you know. know. Like I, I would, know. Like you think if you didn't have like, you think you would be dead inside if you didn't have comedy, like for sure. Yeah. 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 How does someone like you like get into it though? Uh, into comedy. Yeah. This is so embarrassing. I did improv for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Were you any good at it or no? No. Really? Terrible. So improv is just like when you, sh- you go up on stage and, and they're you like, literally. Can I get a suggestion? <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, planes. And you're like, okay. And oh, then you like yeah. sit down and you're like, whoa, crazy flight, right? Like, you know, <laughs> and then the person next to you is like, yeah, whoa, turbulence, you know? Wow. And, uh. I've always wanted to do it. I just feel like I would do something random. Like, that's why I want to do it. Yeah. I think now it'd be a lot more fun for me. Yeah. Because I don't care Mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. I heard it helps a lot, a decent amount with comedy and stuff. Yeah. I'm sure that's what helped me with just being on stage. Mm Because I remember when I first started, like, everyone's like, you've done that. You've been on stage before. And I I danced a lot growing up. So that too. But I think it was just an improv, like, especially my improv, like, there was a lot of, like, quiet in the audience <laughs> on stage under the bright lights trying your best and mm-hmm. just drowning yeah and so i got used to just bombing yeah because when you watch your clips like i'm not trying to offend any other women but yeah you're very like comfortable on stage oh, thank and you. you have like a an energy that's like i don't give a fuck what yeah. happens yeah whereas like not even like a lot of the chicks just like a lot of the comics yeah like if, if things don't like go exactly how they want it right they'll be like you don't fucking get me. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, dude, face you made. It's yeah. so true. <laughs> Let me tell you. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Life isn't fucking fair, dude. Yeah. And it's like, yes. It's like, you just push through it, man. Like just fucking do your oh. shit. And like, you know? Yeah. I would say, yeah, a lot of people are like, it's fucking them. They don't fucking get me. And yeah. you're like, maybe you're not talking. Correctly. Dude, that pisses me off more oh. than like, not anything, but like, you know, I'm not like, talking to a lot of chicks yeah and when i say that i mean i'm like not talking to any chicks <laughs> <laughs> but like whenever i am they'll always like crack a shitty joke at like a diner or something yeah and i'll like keep a straight face and they're like are you gonna laugh and i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't Good. funny but not funny like i'm not gonna yeah. don't force me to laugh yeah you know like do you find that women that you know you don't go on day with <clears> but when you do mm-hmm. Are they trying to make you laugh because they know you're a comic? No. Okay. They're just, uh, I haven't gotten a match yet on Hinge, but oh. dude, I'm out there grinding, bro. You Yo, know what I'm saying? I'm shocked. I'm switching it up, bro. I'm switching I'm up shocked. the picks. <laughs> well, dude, I like fuck around too much. Oh, like my got immaturity it. comes in a little too much. Okay, you know got what it. I mean? like, like what's your, what's your uh, profile say? Like, is it something funny? <sighs> when I first downloaded <laughs> it. <laughs> Lord be, like you have like a religious quote up there. <laughs> When I, like, first downloaded it, I was laying in my bed. And I was, like, a little caffeinated, you know, okay. a little tipsy dude. Yeah. And uh, my first prompt was, like, my proudest moment. <laughs> and I just put shit in my pants. And, dude, I literally just laid in bed for, like, an hour laughing about it. And I would have, too. Yeah, because I was like, oh, some chick's going to see this and I, she's going to laugh. Yeah. And then I, like, I kept it. Yeah. And then a few days passed and I was like, I don't, you know. So I guess it's just a bunch of women being like... <laughs> Yeah. You think it's a fucking game? They're all the same, dude. All the, the women on the apps. They're all the same. I mean, you haven't had access to the apps, obviously, but yeah. like, bro, every chick is like, 
dirty martinis. Oh, okay. I want to travel more. Okay. And I just want some <laughs> yeah. chick who's like, I want to fucking have sex. No, not okay. even that. No, that would scare me a little bit. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah. <laughs> if I she mean, was like that, that be, open up front. That would be cool if she said that in public yeah. or something, you know? Got or it. Or like an Arby's but or something. But if it's on her pre- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, or just something different, bro. You okay. know? Just something that's like not yeah. the same as everything else. Yeah. You know? Something not involving martinis. Yeah, that'd be great. You know? Maybe a chick who's like, yeah, I can have fun without... <laughs> a martini you know what i mean that would be i'd be like holy shit living for sunday brunch <laughs> yeah. and you're like please no please please stop yeah i know it's tough well it's like when you think about it it's like most people live for the weekend and for the martinis like and so yeah, yeah. you're gonna get the majority yeah they're waiting for that day and yeah it's just like i respect it but it's like you know as a comic do you really want to like no Go up on, you know, maybe you had like a bad night on stage or something right. and you're like actually chasing your dreams. Right. And then you have to deal with someone who's like hung over. Oh, brutal. Talking about how fucking Bryce tried to own, like suck his own dick last night and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like I have actual issues. <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It's like my fart joke bombed last night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Yeah. It's Dude. so hard to relate to people, you know what I mean? Oh, it's, and especially like, you know, Cause I'll, I get pretty, uh, like, what's the word thing? Like, I'll just focus on one thing. Tunnel vision. And like, t- thank you. It's a good song. I almost said pigeonholed, but yeah. that's not. I can see you listening to that song with the Tunnel headphones vision? on. What's that? Some fucking ghetto ass rapper, dude. Yes. <laughs> Should blast on the way out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then put on David Goggins. <laughs> Maybe have them both on at the same time. Yeah, tunnel vision though, yeah. Um, and so I've really just. It's like com- comics only now. Mm-hmm. And so when I hang out with a non-comic, I'm like, yeah, why? It's like, I, do you ever hang out with non and you just feel like, it's just like the trill of their voice is higher and they're yeah. just like a little bit more like, <laughs> like I can't explain it. And you're just like, can you settle down? I know down? what you're saying, but it's like offensive yes. to everyone. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> no, no. Like oh. I don't, like that's why like I was in a relationship like a year ago. Yeah. And... I was like chasing my dreams yeah. and like very focused on comedy. And I got oh, I like see what you're saying. caught up in this relationship yeah. with a person who like I couldn't relate to in yeah. any aspect. Okay. And they like wanted me to relate to them, but I would end up sounding like a dick because I'm like, what are we going to talk about? Like how you <laughs> how got shitted <laughs> at the casino over the weekend? Like, <laughs> and then they'd be like, you're a fucking asshole. You'd be like, you know what I mean? You're boring. Because like comics, like, you kind of like come across as a dick yes because you sound like arrogant i guess because you're like oh i'm like you know i'm doing big shit out here yeah even when you're not you well know i also I'm think it's like just like there's a little <coughs> dead and so like anything you say sounds a little like yeah you it's like when you go dick? to like a family party and like oh. someone gets excited over like a f- like a, a word or like gluten-free bread yeah you're like, and you're like this shit fucking sucks you yeah know what I mean? <laughs> yeah and they're like this shit slaps and you're like yeah. please go home yeah like if a fucking 10 year old came in with like a fucking magic wand yeah. and just took out all the food on the table yeah. then i would be like yo i'm coming back next year yeah. let's run it back yeah you know let's go let's go but every year you're like i may not come back here <laughs> yeah dude like every get year. some fireworks or something yeah can we <laughs> It's Gam Gam's <laughs> funeral. Can we get some fucking bombs up in here? Yeah. Like something? Some yeah, like if I ever had a family, like, like if I ever had a family, which I probably won't, I'll probably just die alone. But like if I did, dude, every barbecue there would be fucking fireworks, dude. Yeah. Like hookers. Yes. A DJ. Yes. You know? Everyone. Yeah. First year old, one year old party. Bring in the Hooters. Yeah. And initially, everyone would be like, this is really immature. But then yeah. once they came, they'd They're be like, like, this shit slaps. Yeah. Let's run I mean, I, I was at my sister's. Uh, kids one year old party and there's no way I say this that ever sounds like I like being a aunt <laughs> ever I need to say my niece's birthday <coughs> but instead I'm like my sister's kid wow I just sound like a dick right yeah there's <sighs> almost like a sense of jealousy too where you're like I'm more important than this yeah which <sighs> <laughs> let's be real yeah same thing too with my nephew they were like uh, my aunt and uncle were like yeah, we were thinking, you know, you can come over and, like, show them how to play baseball, like, three, four times a week. I'm like, are you insane, dude? 
three to four yeah i was dead like, serious request. dead serious they were like he's he doesn't know how to play like you know you play baseball like i can just, offer you once a month yeah i will go i will go once a year and play yeah. catch with him for 15 minutes maybe dude he better catch every ball too <laughs> or else i'm fucking hitting him <laughs> in the head with the ball he's fucking running laps dude. yeah for sure yeah how old's the nephew I don't even know, dude. Maybe like five now. All right. He's so probably, he's probably like too? 12. <laughs> <laughs> he's in college. <laughs> I show up to the party. I'm like, oh, like, there's that 12-year-old. <laughs> but I have no idea, dude. <laughs> you got him like a gift that's just like for a six-year-old. Yeah. like, for you. I'm like, where's Connor? They're like, his name's Michael. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I know, but where's Connor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's my imaginary friend? <laughs> <laughs> his friend Connor is better. Yeah. It is tough, though, dude. But, like, what is... Uh, dude, you're saying Long Island's, like... I've never been, but I heard that's where the beaches are. Yeah, they're nice. Mm -hmm. For sure. Actually, where I went to college, uh, there were a lot of girls from Long Island, and they had Give pierced, me your first impression of Long Island girls. Pierce nipples. Oh. Poor pronunciation. Pronunciation. Obno obnoxious. Pronunciation. Whatever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm from Long Island, bro. <laughs> yeah, they don't print out <coughs> nothing right. And <laughs> they all had like pierced nipples, which was like a big thing. Yeah. Which was confusing. Yeah. You know. What else? Um they really like to party. Dude, every time there is a belligerent person in the audience or someone mm -hmm. that's offending the comic. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten from Long Island. Really? What's it like, dude? Like paint a picture for me. Wait, what? Long, Long Island? Island, yeah. Um, uh, very like in a bubble, um, very family oriented, no matter how toxic and fucked up it is. Uh, yeah. All about partying, all about like having a good time. Mm -hmm. Um, and no one really leaves. Yeah. Like, so all the girls I grew up with in high school, like never left, have a kid, kids, plural, yeah, like husband, like they stay there and, um, and there's also different parts of Long Island. So, like, if you post this, there's going to be so much hate. Because they're, like, protective of oh, their yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, and I hate on Long Island a lot. Because it's like, you have to make fun of where you're from. Yeah, but you're from there. So, you have, like, the street cred. Yeah, you would think. But no one likes it. I, uh, it's, it's just, like, there's different parts. Some are intelligent. Mostly are not. <laughs> and... <laughs> Like a lot of Italians, a lot of Jewish people. There's a lot of money, mm -hmm. but also there's a lot of places that aren't a lot of money. Are you are you Italian? Yeah. Do we was your family like when they found out you're doing comedy? They were like, they all for it, or were they kind of like, what the fuck? Um. They were they weren't like. Sick. Okay, so they weren't like, are you gay? Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Do you eat pussy? <laughs> I uh. Uh, they were like, oh, good for you. You know, like every time. It's like, how's mm -hmm. the comedy sketch life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, please stop. Yeah. This is my entire <clears throat> life. Yeah. You know, and it's also impossible to explain to people. My least favorite question is, how have you been? What have you been up to? Really? Yeah. That makes you upset? Not upset. It's just like, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Because like my life, what I do is insane. Like if I explained it out loud, mm -hmm. it's just, it's pretty boring. It's like when someone asks you like how you are. Yeah. You're like. Every loaded. time I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even though, no, I'm not. Yeah. yeah. Not it'd be, like, at all. Too hard to explain it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I also think I hate it because it makes me realize I r really haven't changed it up since I started comedy. What do you mean? Like, it's, it's just, it's, what have you been up to? Uh, you know, I wake up, hate <laughs> myself, um, hit the snooze <clears throat> button eight to 10 times, mm -hmm. uh, Walk the dog, work out, write, do spots at night. Yeah, that sounds like the dream life. Dude, you know what pisses me off? Mm. I've said that a lot this episode. No, I'm Nothing really you. makes me mad, but like... <laughs> Seriously, you don't seem like you get... <coughs> I just get emotional, dude. But I when you do get mad, it's, I feel like, red. I, dude, I like don't get mad. You really? Like I do, but I, I... Dude, if I get mad, I'll go to the gym and put on like four biscuits and just fucking <laughs> sh like tear everything, dude. Just like slip every disc in my back and then I'll be like, all right, <laughs> better <laughs> back to the drawing board, dude. Yeah. Okay. Or like I'll go for a run. Like I don't want to be like some dude who's like, because I've, I've freaked the fuck out on people before. Yeah. When I was younger. Yeah. 
and afterwards dude yeah the amount of guilt i felt was just ah. like crippling yeah i was like i feel so fucking bad right now how old probably in high school okay college not too much rugby Wait, can we go back i'm sorry <coughs> yeah you played rugby yeah that's pretty unhinged well i played like i played basketball baseball Flag and rugby. Oh, yeah sorry. it was special needs um <laughs> accurate yeah you wouldn't notice <laughs> <laughs> there were some good players out there yeah um but like full tackle <coughs> rugby yeah i went to college dude i only went to uri because it was like the only thing uh like my mom could afford mm -hmm. and i was like all right you know like yeah i just went not having anything right. so like people were in like fraternities Oof. a lot of my boys were like shredding pussy dude yeah. and like yeah. paying for friends and yeah. i was like I'm not paying for friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't know. Like, I never, for some reason, I never, like, JM, I went to JMU and a huge okay. sorority fraternity. Mm -hmm. And, like, I just was like, nah, that ain't for me. Yeah, there's, like, a sense of pride you have where yeah. you're like, I can't. Yeah, you're you know? like, I can't. But I didn't know you pay. Oh, yeah, you pay, like, dues. I didn't know that. Yeah, for, like, booze at parties. Until I saw Jamie Wolf's joke i was looking at his page recently and he talks about that like oh, really? paying for friends and i was like what yeah and then of course i googled and i'm like what but that's like how i live my life i'm just like i have no idea what's going on yeah yeah but that was like the whole vibe in college like you're either in a fraternity yeah or a sorority or you're just like loner a fucking loser dude yeah bro i've told this before but they had chicken nuggets at uri <laughs> sick bro like mcdonald's chicken nuggets and they would just like put them in these huge fucking like casket things like uh -huh. and it was all day no, and exactly I had, what my mom like hooked me up like with like yeah my mom yeah. hooked me up with unlimited swipes to the yes. food hall dude and i would That's go mom. dude every day I, I would have chicken nuggets in the morning dude <laughs> why not yeah this this is why college i hated college mm -hmm. a lot but yeah. there were some parts like that where <clears> you're <throat> like it's like a cruise like you yeah. just like unlimited food <laughs> yeah, dude. dude it's the best i used to hit up the soft serve station mm -hmm. all the time oh breakfast lunch dinner i'd be like you can't not mm -hmm. it's free soft serve like i don't yeah what are we there's pausing? so many options dude yeah it's crazy how there's so many options and i would always land on like chicken nuggets and, like, <laughs> fucking like, fries dude sun-dried tomato pesto paninis <laughs> and you're like nah i'll go for the yeah. chicken nuggets people are waiting in line for like a half an hour for yeah. like stir fry oh yeah i'm like dude i just got yeah. 30 chicken nuggets yeah. in like 10 <laughs> seconds <laughs> <laughs> dude i was like uh very unhealthy and then i, got, I went on a health kick mm -hmm. my last year in college but like and I remember though just being like, yeah, I'm going straight yeah. for the easy, pew, 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 yeah. like yeah. That's the way to. The best thing to do is to get diabetes. Yeah. And then recover. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you know. You know what it's like. Yeah. People like sometimes it's too it's too late for people. Right. You know. Or they like I think the worst is you help and then you go to diabetes and then yeah, yeah. that's what everyone does. But and then dude, you'll never turn I did around. the exact opposite. Yeah. Like I had fucking double D tits when I was sixteen. <laughs> yes. Now I've got A cups. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. dude. That's what you got to do. I never had double D tits, but really? uh, yeah, no, only A's. Oh, dude, you don't want tits, man. Why not? Dude, I know so many chicks. I don't know them, but I know of them. <laughs> <laughs> I follow them. Yeah, dude. And I and hear uh, them talk about tits. Dude, they they got a breast reduction, man. I mean, it's just every like, girl tit. No, you don't. Imagine just like lugging those things around, though, just to be stared at. Like, <laughs> you got fucking scoliosis for no reason. <laughs> Some guy's like sick. And yeah. you're like, I'm in a ton of pain. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, sick tits. <laughs> it's like I literally slipped three discs in my back. <laughs> Every day is just a nightmare for you. That's what I'm saying. Like, if chicks have, like, if I was a chick, I would want, like, a pair of, like, maneuverable tits. Yeah, I, like, I'm not saying I'm looking for double Ds, mm -hmm. but, like, could I get a B cup, please? Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, especially if I, like, really cut weight, mm -hmm. it's, like, yeah, me and a 10-year-old boy, like, neck and neck. You know really? what I mean? Wow. Yeah. I live through that, dude. What? <laughs> like, in elementary school, boy? dude, like, in middle school, my tits were always bigger than the, the chicks I was surrounded by. And I had, to, I had to live with that, I'm sorry dude. For <laughs> yeah. So like Becky Brutal. would be like, "Oh my gosh, my tits are so small," and I would be like, "Becky, <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't want this. <laughs> you could be like this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So. Oh, that's brutal. But dude, I remember, uh, <laughs> bro, I was at the food hall 
fucking literally had like 30 chicken nuggets, <laughs> like 12 pounds of ketchup, dude. Yes. And then uh, the fries. I went back to my Always dorm. Always crispy for yeah. me. Oh, dude, I went back to my dorm. I had just gotten dumped by my girlfriend or whatever. Oh. And I just, uh, I walked into the bathroom, dude, because I had to take a shit. Yeah. Took like the biggest shit of my life. Yeah. And just started crying on the toilet, dude. <sighs> like just f- tears flooding while I'm shitting. And I immediately like didn't wipe. No, I'm just kidding. I like. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. I just I fucking walked literally out. just grabbed my buddy, phone, buddy. dude. And I called like an old coach of mine. I was like, dude, I'm out here struggling, bro. Like I'm not playing sports. Oh. You know, like I'm overweight. Freshman year? Yeah. I was like, I'm oh, overweight, bro. Hard. Like hard. I go, yo, can you hook me up with like a, a like a college spot? Yeah. Like he was like, I'm going to make some phone calls, dude. Long story short, I ended up trying out. For a college baseball team. Yeah. Fucking didn't make it, dude. Fuck. And then uh, I ended up uh, playing rugby, dude. And that's when I was like, oh, dude, this is my shit, bro. Oh, hell yeah. yeah okay, dude. good. Bro, just no pads, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, just <laughs> linebacking each other. Bro, they'll like the first week, they'll be like, all right, you know, we're going to show you how to tackle and shit. Yeah. And there's just like a bunch of retarded dudes yeah. with no fucking brain cells. Right. Just running at each other. They have like an ambulance ready on wow. campus. Dudes are just blowing out their shoulders. Like is rugby basically, left and right. I don't know rugby too much. Yeah. Is it basically football, no no <clears throat> gear? No, dude. Rugby is like a continuous game. It would be too oh. hard to explain. Okay. Like football is like the average plays like three to five seconds. Yeah. You come back, huddle up. Rugby's yeah. just continuous, dude. Oh, you damn. get tackled, you fucking toss it back, keep going. Dude, it just doesn't stop. Oh, dude, it's wow. so fucking tiring. Seriously. It's so fucking That's exhausting. That's like when I watch soccer, I'm like, y'all never stop. Dude, it's rugby is the fucking coolest sport in the world. Like I don't care what anyone yeah. says. <clears throat> because like if you watch a game, like you know in like real sports, there's like politics and shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like someone could be wicked good, but they don't have like a fucking right. sponsorship or right. some shit. You so know they're what I mean? Like they don't like launder yeah. money. So yeah. they're like <laughs> They're like, You're not an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, What? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Dude, rugby is literally, if you watch a game, literally just listen to the announcers, they're just like, yeah, beautiful day out, you know? Yeah, right, right. They're actually like normal peeps. Yeah. And we're just so funny because society's like, those people are nuts. Yeah. And I mean, they're like, hey. Yeah. yeah they're, they're like the most humble dudes. Yeah. Dude, the weirdest part about rugby, and like I have a joke about it, but it's like how gay it is. Because oh. like, dude, you will literally get like leveled by a dude. Yeah. And he'll like fucking literally wipe his nuts on your face. Yeah. And then like you'll both get up and they'll be like, dude, good fucking shit, bro. And like hug. Like borderline gay. Like have sex. Yeah. Like you could just fuck right there. And yeah. they'd just be like, and guys, they'd be like, they'd be like yeah. dude, this is fine. Just like make sure it's like off the uh, like right. the field. You know what I mean? Safe sex. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. Like I think it's just like the idea that like you just like play. If you make it through the whole game, which sometimes doesn't happen. Right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a lot. <laughs> if you make it out alive, dude. Yeah. After the game, everyone is like, fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I mean, that makes sense, though, because mm-hmm. it's like kind of like war. Like, you just go at each other, and it's yeah. nuts. What's the uh, craziest thing you saw in a rugby game? <laughs> we like. Someone shit their <laughs> pants. <laughs> no, dude, I wish. That would be so yeah. They hard. got hit so hard, they <laughs> shit their pants. Do you imagine? Oh, dude, that would be so fucking funny. Uh, amazing. Because oh. you that wear white be, shorts, too. You'd be like, oh. That would be like peak memory. <laughs> yeah, dude. Everyone there would be like, this is what yeah. we fucking came yeah. here for. Yeah. You know what I mean? For sure. <clears throat> no, the craziest thing I saw was like, we traveled to uh, this school, uh, Western New England. Okay. Dude, a lot of like ROTC guys go there. Oof. And uh, the rugby team had been partying the night before there. So we showed up and their whole team was lined up in the woods, yuking. Like, they showed up late, and then they, they all threw up. Oh, okay. Because they were hung over from yeah. the night before. So yeah. we were like, these guys are fucking yeah. <laughs> degenerates. Yeah, right. But in rugby, they do, like, a kickoff. Okay. And if you're receiving the ball, which we were, yeah. <laughs> if you feel like you're going to get hit, the whole idea is to jump up in the air and catch it in the air. Okay. Because the rule is, like, you can't hit someone. In when, the air. In the air. <laughs> so this dude... <laughs> This dude is receiving the ball on our end, and he didn't know that. You're supposed to jump up. So he's just watching the ball, and there's like a six foot four, like 275 pound dude just sprinting at him <laughs> we full speed. Jump. Yeah, I was like, fucking jump. <laughs> 
It was like there was an airstrike coming in. Yeah. And he just like had no idea, dude. So he like catches the ball and right away, dude, just gets fucking leveled. And he's just laying there and he's not moving. Yeah, of course. And we just kept playing. <laughs> Wait, no, you didn't stop the game. He's <laughs> just out on it's the rugby, field. It's rugby, dude. Like to stop, someone would literally have to be dying, bro. Wait a second. People get like concussed, and it's like, let's keep it going. Yeah, you'd have to wait to get like subbed in. <laughs> you get on the field and be like, bro. <laughs> yeah. Tap in, like yeah. tap out, <laughs> tap like, out. yeah. And it's like, get up. Yeah. He's like, his brains are out on the field. Get the fuck <laughs> up. It's like, yo, say you're a pussy, and we'll stop the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Admit it. He won't admit it. Let's yeah. keep it going. Say you're gay. No. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but dude, he was just laying there, and like, his body went limp. For some reason, that was funny to me because it just like everything, his yeah, body of just fucking froze. Dude. Yeah, and he's just laying there. <laughs> That's right. <funny. laughs> And fucking, <clears throat> dude, I found out they had to call the ambulance over. Yeah. That dude was internally bleeding. Oh, for fuck <laughs> sure. He was internally bleeding, dude. Um, Which is insane. Did he get up himself or they came on the field? Uh, they came and like yeah. took him away and he was fine. But it was just like, they were like, yeah, if he kept playing, he would have fucking, like his brain would have fucking blown up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just a head One exploding. Play, like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, you guys have a, like a special needs kid on your team. Yeah, like, you're like, you know. no. <laughs> well, sorta. Yeah. I mean, he didn't know to jump. Yeah. But that's when I was like, oh, dude, this game is something else, bro. You would wow. like, dude, you would see fights too that were just so fucking. Dude, I started a fight once, and I fucking. Did you regret it? <laughs> could not stop laughing. It was it was against a military school, and uh, dude, there's this thing in rugby where like it's hard to explain, but. You're kind of like fighting for the ball. Okay. You have to do it legally. Okay. And you're like, it's too hard to explain. But if you watch the game, you'll see them like rucking with each other. Okay. That's what they call it. Yeah. And like you're trying to get the dude off the ball. Like you're fighting for the ball. Right. And like one thing you can do is do like a gator roll. So you'll wrap th- your arms around like their chest and spin like a fucking alligator. <laughs> dude, I don't even know why I did it. But like we were playing at a military school. And I just put this dude in a full-on headlock. <laughs> <laughs> I put this dude in like a legitimate full headlock and spun my body. Completely <laughs> illegal, right? <laughs> yes. Like could get ejected if someone yeah. saw it, dude. Yeah. And he got up, dude, and just started throwing like haymakers right. from like 10 feet away. He wasn't even near me, but he just like, he was so mad, dude. See, and that's I, when like emo- emotional, like oh. you get emotional and you just make the dumbest yeah, moves. He was like, like, what the fuck? He was like, you can't fucking do that. And you were and I was like crying laughing <laughs> and then dude a dude from my team sprints over and just tackles him and starts punching him in the face oh, and i'm like oh shit yes. so i like jump in and i'm just like not throwing punches i'm kind of just humping everyone <laughs> 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 like i wanted to make it known that i wasn't yeah. walking away because yeah, yeah. everyone's in this I'm fucking in yeah I'm in dude it. everyone's just humping each other bro right and i was like dude i was in that one big orgy yeah, I, yeah. Was like, yeah. I was like dude i was throwing hands in there i was literally <laughs> just like touching dudes yeah like, Who's on? He was touching my dick. But yeah, dude, it was crazy because he got ejected. The other kid got ejected. I didn't get ejected. Unbelievable. It was hilarious. Dude. I was crying. Yeah. <laughs> crying, laughing. Which is what probably happens in sports all the time. Like the initial foul is never caught. It's the one. Oh, yeah. It's the rebuttal, dude. Yeah. I don't even know why I did it, though, dude. You know? Hey, you're bored. Just instinct, bro. Yeah. I, just, I was just feeling dangerous out there. Yeah, hell yeah. It's crazy, dude, because like something bad could have happened to him, too. Like you put someone neck. in a headlock and spin your body I like mean, an alligator. Yikes. It's kind of like, dude, what are you doing, bro? Trying to break a spinal cord. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just love how we're like, that'd be hilarious. Oh, dude. Yeah. Something about getting hurt to me is so funny. Oh, it is so funny. But it's like. Or if someone yeah falls, gets hurt. It is. So it's. You're right. Like yeah. when a body goes limp, you're like, that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, dude. It's like. Plus, like, if you were in that situation, like, have you ever been in a situation where you got, like, severely injured and people were laughing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, so I, I did cheerlead mm-hmm. um, uh, a couple years in high school. And I was, of course, the base because I'm not 12 pounds. And um, often girls would get just popped in the head yeah. with a foot and just laid out. <laughs> and again, limp. During like, a limp. game? No, no, like practice oh, and okay. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And um, 
so funny. Yeah. You have to walk away though. Cause it's okay. like girls. And so it's like, oh. this is serious. Oh, shit. And like, you know, it's me and my friends like yeah. get, we gotta go. We that makes gotta, it even funnier. Yes. When they're like, when it's off laugh. limits. Yeah. Like serious. <laughs> and you're like, she's like profusely bleeding from oh, the yeah. nose. And you're like, y- you can't. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Go with, oh, dude. It's like in the winter when someone like slips on ice. Oh, dude. It's such a beautiful thing to see, man. So if I'm ever really sad, I'll I'll go on TikTok and just go, yeah. like search falls. Watch people fall. Yeah. That'll <laughs> help me a lot. Yeah. I used to fall so much when I was younger, dude. Because <laughs> so I was so fat. <laughs> just like, like did rolled. not have did not have good balance at oh, all, dude. No. We would hit like bike jumps and shit too. Yeah. And I would just go like as hard as I could and just eat shit. People would be Your like. bike would crumble. Yeah. People would be like, fuck yeah. You were like, yeah. They're like this Parkour. is why like this is why we hang out with this kid. Yeah, exactly. It's like crying, dude. <laughs> yeah. I like that you admit that you're emotional. <clears throat> yeah, well, dude. I don't know, man. You start crying right now. Yeah, dude. One single tear rolls down my eye, bro. I'm like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I try, dude. Like, people think I'm like super serious all the time because uh-huh. of like how I look. But in my head, it's just like ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. farts, just yeah, okay. random occurrences, Yeah, you know? Yes. <clears throat> and I just, like, can't explain. Like, I don't have yeah. the time to be like, no, 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 dude. Like, right. you don't get it, man. Like, like in, it's all in here, yeah. bro. You ever have a full conversation with someone in your brain? Yeah. And yeah. then you're like, why aren't you up to speed? And they're like, what? Oh, I thought you meant just, like, talking to... Oh, oh. <laughs> Like imaginary friends and stuff. I, mean, I was yeah. like, yeah, dude. Yeah, all time. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, where's Connor? <laughs> yeah, I talked to you before you came. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> dude, I'll have straight conversation and then I'll be like, did I not? I, I had this whole, okay. Yeah. That's wild to me. I'm you, pretty emotional too. That happens a lot with like podcasting. Like before someone comes on, I'll yeah. be like, oh, like what are you going to talk about? And then I'll have like a hypothetical conversation yeah. and then they come over and it's completely different. And yeah. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly. It's like, oh, you're delusional, yeah. dude. Like yeah. You're, yeah. For sure. <clears throat> but I don't know, dude. I guess I'm like, yeah, like physically you would have to like chop off a limb for me to cry. But if oh. you said something like oh, physically, gotcha. emotionally, yeah. I'd be like, fuck, dude. Yeah. You know? For sure. When's the last time you cried? <sighs> I don't know. Yesterday for me. Like before this. Oh, like right today. <laughs> yeah, no, <I'm> just <laughs> right now. Yeah. I don't know if tell. I would like, yeah. I cry a lot about like about comedy and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be like, oh shit, dude. Like you used to like fucking pull your pants down in class and just be like a failure. <laughs> and now like you live in New York City and like you're like. Oh, doing, you're like overwhelmed. Yeah. I think about the reality of everything and I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's I get for sure. That's when I'll be in the car and I'll be like, fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. What about you? Uh, uh, Yesterday, I cried to an episode of The Office. Why? It was like, I don't know. I usually stick between seasons three and like, or no, two and like six. But in season seven, they do this like. When they get bought out, they do this, like, recap. <coughs> epi- Did mm-hmm. you ever watch The Office? Yeah, you're talking okay. about, like, the, the memory episode, kind of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that one made me cry. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, memories will make me cry for sure. That's yeah. usually what I'm crying about is, right. like, a memory. Yeah. You know, not something that, like, happened right yeah, now. Yeah, no, I, can't, I don't process right away. Yeah. No way. The one thing that's been getting me emotional lately, dude, is, like, I don't, dude, I've been, like, it's, like, the split personality thing where it's, like, I feel like on stage, like, I am the full version of myself. Yes. <clears throat> and people think it's so weird that they'll be like, dude, are you putting on an act? And you're like, no, that's actually. And I'm like, no, dude, like, that's who I am. Yeah. Like, right now, I'm putting on an act. Yes. Because I yes. have to pretend to talk to you. And, like, and be civil. Yeah. Like, I, we went to watch, like, uh, Colin Turrell's comedy special. Nice. Uh, Where was it? Me and my roommate at the the cutting room oh nice and we walk in dude and this chick from boston who doesn't really know me okay. like we've said maybe five words to each other i walk in and i see everyone and she was like why are you being so weird and i was like well i'm not being weird she's like yeah you're being all weird i was like no i'm just being myself also don't know she you. was like no you're not and i was just like in my head i'm like this chick doesn't even know me 
you know what I mean? Kick her in the throat immediately. Yeah, but shit like that, dude, will like put me in a spiral where I'm like, oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Like, how do I come across to people? Yeah, because dude, you just spend so much of your life like pretending to be yes. someone you're not. One hundred percent. And then the fact that like when you actually are like genuine, people will, like shit on it. Yes, dude. There's nothing more painful. It's really true. Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly. So this is what you mean by like multiple personality. Yeah. Yes. I get exactly what you're saying. Well, I, it's like, I, I see it as, um, like when you, you put on this facade, it's like protection. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like you put on this, like for me, it's like when I'm not my true self, it's cause I'm like, I don't want to deal. Cause exactly yeah, yeah, when yeah. you are authentic mm -hmm. and someone's like, you're weird. It's like, Toosh, you yeah. know, it's brutal. Mm -hmm. So then I'm just like, yeah, I'm just going to put on this act. Yeah. Well, the other thing is like, in my head, I'm like, oh, like you don't deserve to see who I really am. Right. Like, I don't know you. Like, yeah, I don't trust you. Yeah. We haven't said anything to exactly. each other. Like my friends who are like loyal to me and yeah. like who I've been through the shitter with, like, right. <clears throat> I d like they deserve to see like yeah. my silly side and like my vulnerable side. Right. And shit and like it's that. like two people for me. Yeah. It's yeah. like two or three people. Yeah. And you're just like, I don't think people get that, you know? What yeah, I, mean? I know. Because, like, a lot of people, to them, like, who they are at, like, a fucking restaurant is, like, who they are. I know. It's like, holy shit, dude. Or have you ever met someone that's, like, never really let out who they are? They're just, like... Yeah. Ah. Like, w when you said, like, a girl that's super nice, mm -hmm. no matter what, you're, like, that's... You need to let... Yeah, that's every dude's fear. Yeah. You need to let some of that out. Oh, yeah. 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 That's why, like, the apps and shit are stupid, because it's, like... Dude, if I, like, go to a show and do a set, yeah. that chick just saw in 10 minutes, like, who I am. Yes. Versus, like, you know, going on a date and being like, what did you major in? Right. And, like... And that's as far as you got. Yeah. Which would be insane for me, you know? Like, for me to have those conversations. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. It's yeah. like, this is when you're like, this is bullshit. Sometimes I feel like it's kind of a sign, though. It's like, you don't belong, you know? You kind of, got like, got to know your place, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, like it's meaning like, like in the typical dating world, just like if you're going to go for comedy, mm. you got to like accept that like you're going to be the, surrounded by like fucked up people who yeah. are fucked up like you yep. and you're not normal. Yes. So it's like you kind of like can't really expect much from the outside world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. It's kind I never of thought of it that kind way. of insane on our end to be like, no, you guys don't get it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, hurry it up. Come on. Yeah. Come on. What happened when you were young? When it's I was like, young? you know, no, oh, I'm yeah. saying like, oh, I was like, like oh, dude, that's the, when like I get in conversations, like, I'm like, what? No, don't. Oh, it's yeah. like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, well, that's like, I mean, that's kind of like <laughs> what you just said is hilarious. Right. <clears throat> what happened when you were young? Why? That's like the best question you can ask someone who's like <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. You know, like what happened? Yeah. You know, You're what like, really put you point. in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, stop like using all these like excuses. Just tell us. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's been, uh, that's like the whole, I don't even know, dude, the whole split personality thing. Also like, dude, like you remember how you were like in sports and shit where like you would just go fucking like ham and get emotional. Like you said, yeah, like dude, that is completely different from who you are on stage. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah. Or just for me, it's like, well, you're young, right? You're very young. No. No? 27. Oh no, that's pretty young. Yeah, no, it's not really. It doesn't feel It's young almost to you? over. Yeah. <laughs> I've got like a year or two left and I'm not oh, fucking <laughs> what, you're gonna take your life? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Just drive through a fucking loading dock. <laughs> nice way. Yeah, dude. That's a good one. Yeah, for sure. Very like poetic. Mm. I've never said Just that before, but you know what? It felt no, right. Dude, and suicide is poetic for sure. It is. Nobody ever talks about it, but you can go out a lot of beautiful ways, man. Yeah. When I was really feeling down last year. My, m the thing was Subway. Just <coughs> oh, that's kind of gay. Well, and that's what my friend said. She's like, also rude. Like, you're delaying yeah. everyone. Like, at least, like, let people get to work on I time. know. That's you what she what said. Mean? And I was like, you're right. Yeah, you're you don't right. want to harm anyone. So if you're on, like, a, a big boat. That's not going to harm anyone. The Subway? Yeah. I mean, you're going to piss off a lot of people. Yeah. Somebody could lose their job, dude. Yeah. It's more important than your life, man. Yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Are you kidding me? I do, when do you, you are delayed and it's like someone's on the tracks, you're like, fuck them. Yeah, you're like, dude, do you're it. You're not like, are you okay? No, it's like, <laughs> get it over with. Yeah. That is fucked up for sure, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's never like, oh, mm -hmm. it's like rude. 
Yeah, it's like, dude, go all in or don't go at all, yeah. man. Like, yeah. jump right now. Right. Or, like, don't cause a scene, dude. Right. You know what I mean? Right. That's me. <laughs> at least I'd go all in. Dude, just, like, sprint from the time <laughs> you swipe your card. Like, time it perfectly. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. You'd be a legend for sure. Yeah. Yeah. If everyone saw it. There, it happened so fast. They're like, mm. are we in the movie Ghost? <laughs> like, you know? People just lose, like... Think about how loud that <clears throat> would be. Like, pa. I think about that too much. How loud getting hit sound? by the subway i'm yeah. like dude i wonder if i could survive this i often think that but then yeah. i'm like there's no way because you could end up like one of those people who survives it but you have like one leg and one arm yeah, i was about to say there's no you're cut in half yeah you look at voldemort <laughs> <laughs> i would just play that song cut the cord and just fucking <laughs> roll around on your dolly yeah dude <clears throat> it's like you guys have seen some shit yeah there is like <clears throat> That's tough to talk about, like, the whole, like, fucking beauty to suicide, dude. You know? Yeah. It's weird, bro. You don't think about it until you move here. Oh, yeah. And then you're like, all right, no. No, yeah. If I was living in the suburbs and I was thinking about suicide. I mean, that's brutal. Oh, dude, you're at, like, a Little League baseball game? Yeah. Like, Jeff, you ever think about... (laughs) Taking the garden hose (laughs) and just... Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, dude, there's kids around, man. Yeah, you're like, so no. (laughs) Yeah. All right, just around me. here though, it's like yeah, you know. Yeah, everyone's thinking that. Everyone has thought about it. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I feel like I might be able to survive it, but I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I, I've often thought it's there's no way. Yeah, I guess it depends like what train. A fear of mine though is like not dying. Oh yeah, like going for it and not dying. Mm. Brutal. Jumping off a building, dude. Oh, you just brutal. break both of your legs and it's just, get them amputated, but everything yeah. else is fine. I often think about that. How, mm. Like, yeah. I, I mean, this. I hope this doesn't trigger anyone, but like, how embarrassing <laughs> to like try and fail. Yeah. And you wake up, and everyone's like, another failure. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck. Yeah. yeah, dude, you'll never be good enough. Yeah. You couldn't Dude. even kill yourself. Oh, uh, what's the what's the one that's like uh, asphyxiation, where you're like spanking? Oh yeah, and you die? Robin Williams. That's got to be the best way to go that's out. That's how Robin Dude. Williams went out, right? Yeah. Do you just? You're like obviously. Dude. <laughs> Dude, Matt. Dude, just busting a load and then dying. Wow. That would be the best ending to any it's story. It's gotta be. Yeah. The amount of respect you would get, too, from doing that. Yeah. Like, dude, you didn't hurt anyone. Do you have any friends or maybe you that are into that? Like, ch- like, a s- exchange and... No, dude, I... Because it's supposedly supposed to be, like, the most oh, yeah, wonderful be, feeling. Yeah. I mean, if I was a girl, I would just buy, like, a fucking helicopter dildo or something like that. You know, I'd really, like, drop some dimes on some hardware. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, and like, then- as a dude, nah, I'd be too scared. Because it's, like, you could kill I yourself. just don't have, like, the intelligence to right. set it up and stuff. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, would just, I would just end up like choking myself, like not even jerking off. Not even getting the jerk <laughs> yeah, off. Dude. The other really? question is like, could I like actually get erect while I being was just choked? Ask that. I don't even know, dude. Because you know, girls they like that, but like, do guys like being <clears throat> choked? And I'm. Yeah, I would have to have like the Food Channel on or something. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Paula Dean, old episodes. Yeah, but if I was a girl, dude, the amount of like hardware they have nowadays. Oh. Dude, I know. Yeah, my friend broke hers out the other day. I'm like, what the? F-? Really? You guys just yeah, break them like out? Yeah, like Edward Scissorhands. Holy like, and shit. I was just like, I got this, like, you know, yeah, just easy peasy, beautiful, like simple. Mm-hmm. And hers is like, and like has like suction and all this shit. And oh, I'm wow. just like, that actually overwhelms me. I'm like, I don't even know. Oh yeah, you like, like the I don't want to stuff. think. Oh, yeah. And be like, now press this button. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm not using a computer in bed. Yeah. Yeah, that would be like super, I don't know, dude. There's something, like whenever I had girlfriends, I would be like, you know, the whole toy thing kind of freaked me out a little Why? bit. Because you just feel like you're not good enough, dude. Ah, yeah. What if, okay, for me, it's like, I kind of need it now that I'm mm-hmm. on so many antidepressants. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm pretty numb. Wow, so you like don't feel anything? No. Oh, what is a... Uh, Fuck, someone else is talking about this. What is the name of the antidepressant? Zoloft. Oh, okay. But yeah. most do it. Most people do it? No, no, most <laughs> antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's on Zoloft. You're not? Okay. Um, No. Um, A lot of antidepressants cause numbness. Yeah, Jamie, or un- Jamie was... Or inability uh, to come. 
Jamie was talking about that. Yeah. He was like, yeah, dude, I don't know the last time I felt anything. <laughs> it's <laughs> I like, awful. I was like, holy shit. It's awful. Wait, so why are you on uh, antidepressants? Because I'm so happy. Really? Yeah. It's just like a depression thing? Yeah. It's like, and for me, it keeps me at like this baseline. Because I still, I, I'm not on enough. Like there was a moment where I was on so much that I was just like, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, you're fine. But now it just stops me from really going down. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like last <clears throat> year kind of freaked me out. So I was like, okay, let's. Like a little bit of suicidal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, okay, I don't want that. Yeah. Because I think it's important to be like sad once in a while and like be in your feels. But like when it gets really bad. Yeah, when it gets suicidal. You can't get out. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's brutal. Yeah, that's crazy. Because you, you're like you're exercising too. and Yeah. Like, you seem like I get do you know how much that <coughs> pisses me off yeah like exercise don't really drink eat healthy and I still am so low I'm like what the fuck dude yeah because for most people like you can kind of call them a pussy because they're <laughs> like yeah you know I just get shitted on the weekends and eat yeah. shitty food yeah. and I like don't respect anyone yeah. so I'm gonna take these antidepressants and you're yes. like wow man like you're like wow you're really keep, phoning dude, in keep fucking crushing it man yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. but like i i would get really emotional when like i talk to people who are like yeah you know like i'm going to the gym i'm eating right yeah like i'm taking i'm trying it's to take awful. care of my body and like i'm still down it's because that's how i felt dude i was like <clears throat> in the best shape of my life yeah and shit and i was just like dude i want to like blow up an oil rig <laughs> strong <laughs> enough to kill myself yeah, now yeah. oh my god are you on <laughs> any no wow i'll never do them dude you just don't like drugs prescription um, drugs i feel so much dude throughout yeah. the day uh do you ever hit big big lows yeah for sure dude and you just yeah. power through well most of it's because like my life growing up was so fucked up yeah i've seen things at yeah. a young age yeah. that no one else has seen right so i'm like used to it i have like callous therapy that, yeah therapy was retarded for me wow yeah dude good for you <clears throat> respect yeah. my therapist was just like yeah man you know like it was a woman She's like, she was it like down. she was like yeah you're you're normal you know compared to most people that come in here and i was like i don't think you're listening you know well, that because i would talk about like it's brutal my family and stuff and i'd yeah. be like yeah you know like this shit's going on and they'd be like yeah you're right and i'd be like dude what the fuck man yeah you know a bad therapist why am i fucking worse than no therapist why am i paying for this shit right dude? It's brutal. You know, dude, like this right here is my therapy. Yeah. You know, like just talking to yep. people. That's yeah. what I know. If I'm like, dude, if I'm staying in motion, yes. if I'm moving around. Yes. And I can like talk to people about yeah. like deep shit, like right. real shit. Yes. I'll, I'll hang on. If I'm moving <clears throat> around and not only having light conversations and weird interactions, like when yeah. I was working in the restaurant business. Oof, yeah. If you're living like a fake life. Yeah. It's brutal. And you're not. You're in like a dark room. Yes. That's when it's like, oh Brutal. shit, dude. But I just, dude, I just rely so much on like my, f like my feelings, dude. Good for you, I just man. feel so much throughout the day, like I want to, yeah. you know. Versus everyone else, everyone else, like I feel runs like from it. Yeah, dude. I kind of like just like going right into it. You know what I mean? Like going. That's got to be, and I'm not trying to like kiss your ass like the healthiest version. Yeah, no, I'm definitely unhealthy, but I'm hanging on. But you know what I'm saying? Like to go head on. And not run from it. Yeah, to like it's almost run. like ancestral. Like <clears throat> it's just like you're. It's like you're doing it the old school way. Oh yeah, like running into the darkness. Dude. Right. Yeah. Instead of being like. <laughs> yeah, because like, dude, no homo, dude. If you run into the darkness, you'll find the light, a bro. Dick. Oh, sorry. A dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you run into the darkness, you'll find a boner. <laughs> yeah. It's your old rugby get that, teammate. <laughs> yeah, get that tatted on my back, dude. Yeah. With fucking eagle wings and shit. <laughs> and a, like a motorcycle yeah. with an eagle on it. Just plan a reunion. My boys. <laughs> <laughs> I got this for you. Yeah. It's true though. If you, yeah. If you power through, you do find there's a light at the end. Yeah. But dude, no one, you got to realize, bro, like maybe 1% of the population like follows through with that. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe 1%. Dude. Maybe. You're rarely going to find someone who's like, nah, dude. Like, you don't want to, like, you don't want to fucking go to an open mic. Like, right. We're going, dude. Like, right. You know what I mean? Yes. So, it's like, when you realize you can't find people that are like that. Yeah. That's when I'm like, oh, shit. I'm starting to feel pretty down. Yeah. You know? Like, no yes. one gets it. You know? I, uh, all, 
um, <clears throat> I've actually kind of gotten used to it. There was like last year was like very alone, feeling like I didn't have my people mm -hmm. and like didn't have people that wanted to like work through it or do the work and all that. And then you just kind of get self-sufficient. Yeah. Is that the right word? Yeah. You kind of realize like you're on your own. Yeah. Which is very probably why like most comedians like are pretty down mm -hmm. you're just like by yourself dude. yeah like no one's pretty gonna help lo you lonely no one's gonna help you dude mm -mm. like you know which i've realized like no one's gonna like book you on shows or right. like show you the way like they're right. just like dude you'll figure it out yeah it's like all right man but it's it's brutal yeah it is brutal but it does make you better so yes. it's like you're kind of like 100 percent. it's a trade-off if you hang on it <clears throat> it does make you a lot better yeah the real pain the real darkness would be like if you like didn't try and you didn't and make you see it. it all the time. Yeah. Or my favorite is they pretending to try. Yeah. That's happens a lot. Yeah. Like I'm doing like I'm I'm doing everything and I'm yeah. funny. This is ridiculous. And I'm like, you're not doing yeah. everything. Dude, it's crazy. Like how much progress you can make if you actually try. To. Yeah. It's kind of gay, but it's like, no, no, it's so true. Yeah. When I really committed to writing every day, uh -huh. that changed everything. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Even now I'm like, dude, you have so much more in the tank, bro. Yeah. Like, you're being a pussy. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. And also, you know, I know it's like right now, New York is like kind of bringing you <clears> down, <throat> but yeah. there is something I think to being surrounded by it all yeah. the time and mm -hmm. with people that have been doing it a while. And I noticed that a lot on the road. Mm -hmm. Like it will sharpen you. Yeah. Much more than staying where in Rhode Island. But oh, it yeah. is hell on earth. Yeah. Dude, I just like. It's weird how much I <clears throat> like enjoy the pain. I might be like a masochist. I was about dude. to say, I think you might be a masochist. Yeah, not really. But like not in terms of like physical pain, but in terms right. of like. Dude, you, I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm, like, addicted to the misery. It's funny you say that. I almost said, like, that's why I think I didn't go on too many antidepressants. I'm not saying, like, I did what you did but or do. But, like, there is a part of me that likes to feel the sadness. I think that keeps me, my feet on the ground. Yeah. Like, there is, <clears throat> that's a part of me. I'm not going to completely numb it out. That's mm -hmm. not a good idea. Yeah. It's when it gets so bad that I can't function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm like... <clears throat> That's respectable. But at some point, like, you're going to come off of them, right? Yeah. You know, I've been doing a lot lately. Like, oh. for the past six months, microdosing on mushrooms. Oh, yeah, you have, like, some jokes about that, right? Yeah. That's really helped me. Yeah. More so than any antidepressant. Yeah, the antidepressants, the reason they freak me out is because, like, the numbness and then the idea of, like, coming off of them... Oh, because like what happens or never coming off of them. Yeah. Because like when you come off of them, what happens like when you're exposed to like real feelings? Are you yeah. going to be like overwhelmed with them? You know, like how does that work? Yeah, I don't know. And that's, you <clears> know, <throat> so this is my little uh, excuse. But like I was put on prescription drugs at like seven years old. Oh, really? Adderall. And then around 11, I was put on antidepressants. Yeah. So like. I sometimes wonder, it's like, especially Adderall, I'm like, there are certain things that never really came mm -hmm. back from it. Yeah. And so I, I often feel like if I don't have, it's like diabetes. Like, I'm just like, yeah. I don't have the function that you're supposed to develop. Uh -huh. I'm not making sense, am I? I'm trying to follow. All right. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in your face. I was like, there's no fucking Yeah, I'm, more, I'm retarded. So it's like. No, no, you're not. Yeah. I, I don't explain things. Well, when I'm not understanding even what Wait, I'm so saying. Wait, so you saying, like, you had ADHD or you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, uh, like, really low. But what I'm saying is, like, I agree with you. I think you just become super dependent on it. Yeah. And then, like, you really <clears throat> can't come off of it. And if you do, mm -hmm. it's brutal. Yeah. It's almost like you're, like, doing the same thing over and over. Right. Yeah. That's how I felt about, like, weed and alcohol. Yeah. Because I was, Are like, you sober? Yeah, for the most part. Nice. Yeah. But, like, when I was in, like, high school and college, like, there was a point in college where I was smoking so much weed. I was like, dude, I'm legit addicted to, <clears throat> like, I can't not do I this. couldn't, I wasn't even really getting high anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was just this, like, baseline, like, I'm kind of out of it. Yeah, and then I stopped, and I was like, oh, shit, like, this is going to be hard. Mm -hmm. It took me, like, a year to be like, oh, shit, I feel, like, less foggy now. Yes. And, like, I'm, like, <clears throat> back to alcohol was, like, the biggest one for me. Yeah. Just because of, like, genetics and shit. Yeah. 
I still feel it now, but like, yeah. Do you think about it often? <sighs> well, like just getting like smashed. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Sure. You can't not, dude. Like, I think about it probably once a day. Yeah, but then when I do it, I'm like, exactly. This is so fucking stupid. And the reason is because like I just can't I can't find anyone that's like sober, dude. I know. I I've never met a chick who's like, yeah, you know, I'm sober and I can enjoy life. It's it's awful. Never, it's, dude. It's never really once in my life. I know. I, met that. I know. Yeah. And it's and th- again, we're back to the loneliness. Yeah. Because that is a part of like dating and hanging out and this and that and like, and yeah, and okay, it's like most people don't want to have deep conversations and then it's like and if they're not. And if you're not drinking and it's like they're, ju- it's just brutal. Yeah. You just brutal. realize like everyone's doing what you're not doing. Yes. You're like, fuck, dude. It's brutal. You know? Yeah. But and I'm at the age where I'm kind of like, you know, I shouldn't even be focused on that anyway. You know what I mean? Like I shouldn't really be focused on like a relationship, you know? Why not? Because I think it's just like a sign. It's like, dude, just focus on comedy and like the, right. re- the rest the will come. Yes. You know? 100%. Some sober chick will see you maybe. And yes. then like, you know? Yeah. Like, I shouldn't be on these apps trying to, like... I know. I'm with you. Yeah, dude. I'm with you. I got you. Yeah. And th- that, and then that's just having, like, faith and just the waiting game. Yeah, you kind of just have to, like, go with the flow, dude. Yeah. You know? And like it's I so said, hard. Dude, it's, it's so hard. But it's the... Yeah. It's the only way that it's, like, a somewhat more peaceful journey. Yeah. I'm just, dude, I'm just, like, honestly trying to stay moving, bro. Yeah. Like I'm, I got you. A dark, like, I, dude, I, a dark I, room doing nothing, bro. <laughs> That'll, it's a scary fucking that's place, That's when you're, dude. like, just yeah. driving <laughs> yeah. into the... Yeah, you're literally... Yeah. Yeah. Because you're just like, oh, shit, dude. I'm not doing anything, bro. Yeah. You know? The second I'm not do Like, have time on my hands is bad. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. You're pumping these out. They're doing great. No, nah, dude. No one really listens to this. <laughs> what do you mean? You get... Uh, people... No, nah, dude. No one... Like, listeners-wise, not a lot, no. What a fucking idiot. Yeah, dude. Hopefully one day though, dude. I'm trying to stay positive, dude. Maybe after this episode, how long you been bro, doing it? Four years. This podcast? Yeah. Sick. Three or four years, maybe. Good for you, consistently. No. Uh. <laughs> not even, not even close, dude. What? This how year, long consistently? Maybe this year. Okay. So, yeah, dude. We're trying to just like, I mean, not we, I. You I know, was like, who's just a one man band, bro. <laughs> I'm like, who's the other person? Yeah, dude. I'm trying to have like cool people on, you know. Yeah. Just like keep it rolling. Yeah. But like I said, dude, this is like my. It fer- does well on Instagram. That's something. <clears throat> yeah. Dude, I don't even care how well it does, man. It's just like fun, you know. Yeah. It is like this is my therapy, dude. Yeah. Just get to sit down. I like sitting down with like different people and just kind of like yeah. getting to know them, dude. So. Yeah. And you're good at it too. Yeah, I hope so, dude. No, yeah. Try my best, man. Yeah, yeah, you definitely are. But and you're naturally very funny. Thank you, dude. But dude, if you thank don't bring you, uh, Bubba back out here, I'm I will, gonna dude. <laughs> be really upset. Yeah, no, he's coming, dude. But uh, dude, thank you for coming, man. Dude, this was, this was so probably awesome. the best female episode in the history of the world of the Salami Podcast, dude. Oh, damn, no homo. Yeah, um, obviously. But yeah, dude, do you want to like plug anything? Is usually where you like can plug whatever you want. Um, you can guys uh, just follow me on Instagram or anywhere it's uh rachel williams with the r and the w switched i don't like to say it out loud because it yeah. sounds like i'm no, making I'll just fun put of your, uh, people no i'll put your thing in the description yeah but yeah did you have like wicked funny clips and stuff so people oh, can like you. people can watch those yeah dude, please follow you dude let's get these views up oh yeah thank you brother thank you Woo!